Through the gates. Hello? Ah, oh, if it isn't Nami, I don't remember who this is. Oh, if it isn't Nami, I'm a cowboy, though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Uh, Fire Spit. Ptoo. Oh, Fire Spit Island. Perhaps you'll run into our Polina. She's in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I should, shouldn't should be airing dirt, dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then. As an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even involve some Pokemon. You need look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not be underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Grit pebbles. Uh, okay. Grit gravel. I thought you were gonna give me an actual stone, you clod! And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve? I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. <gasps> they do. That actually is helpful. Give me give me a stone. I do not want the cake. Hello. Yes, please have a stone. Those aren't stones. That's a candy truffle, you clod. I need to take this Pokeshi doll over to... Mr. Crafting Man over here, because I made this ages ago, and he has been curious. Mm, what's this? Why, that's a Pokeshi doll if I ever saw one. Please let me have a closer look. Oh, amazing! Just look how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors! You've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention, this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. <gasps> Whew. Thank you. I've savored your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. We use the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll has a, had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs from the one you made. Cool. All right, hey, Zisu. Hey, I heard you raised your rank. Now I can teach your Pokemon some new moves. So what can I do for you? Uh, Maniri? Ooh, Drain Punch. Learn. hey -ya! There you go, Maniri's pool of moves has expanded. Great. I've got a Seed of Mastery. Let's... Master... Ice Fang. All right, Master Move. Because ice is very helpful. Oh. Oh, is there a cutscene involved? Or, nope, I just get a flash white. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you for building up my expectations just to flash the screen once. Man. Incredible. Now to officially go back into the lands to quest. <laughs> questing, questing, questing. That's what these games are about. All about them quests. Beachside camp. Let's go. All right. New area. Let's check it out. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. It's pretty. So how do I get? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the fish here, aren't I? So I can actually go to Fire Spit. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying, perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. You have a camera since when? Now I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon. But let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? Um, do you know anything about the one crazy girl? Uh, wardens, in fact. 
Here in the Cobalt Coastlands, you'll find Palina of the Pearl Clan, and Iskan of the Diamond Clan. Perhaps they'll be of some help to you as you dig into those curious occurrences. Cool. All right. Well, let's have at it. Oh, hey, Arena, what you doing here? You gonna tell me about your friend? Yeah? <gasps> Flute! A different song! So you can play different songs! Oh, that's lovely. Also, I just realized she's dressed like a Pokeball. But that's not important right now. She's got the red on top and the black and the white in her shoes. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Why? <laughs> I need to understand my weaknesses. Please do this for me. Okay, sure. Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Who do I have equipped? Um, okay. My lowest level Pokemon. This can't go wrong. Oh, she also has an Eevee, because of, of course she does. <laughs> oh no, I got rid of my fire type. Oh no, we have nothing. Teddy, it's your time. Nope, this is bad. Yep. <laughs> All right, Spork, it's your time to shine. Is it paralyzed? No, you're paralyzed. Stop it. I'm gonna get one shot by this glacier. You know, maybe I should go back and train in the other areas for a little bit. Oh no, that's not a lot. Oh no. Immediately, uh, okay. And, all right. Yeah, we need to go train this team up a bit. Let's let's just let's just try. All right. Also, why did I even bother trying to paralyze you? It never kicked in. Not even once. Okay. Okay, well, let's just revive everybody. Or at least Ralts so we can get this experience. Bad Eevee. Bad Eevee. <laughs> okay. We survived that. Somehow. Ralts can evolve. We're gonna do <sighs> Now I feel better. The world is vast. And I am small within it. Hey, aren't we all, sister? <laughs> Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Oh, God. <laughs> I need to level up so bad. Alright, with you, I think with you I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Pelina, but she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all, but Lena, that is to say Paulina, she's very dear to me. No matter what anyone might say, we were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading on up onto the ridge. Hey, Glamio? Uh, more like Glam dead. Cool. And not even struggling. Great. Hi, what are you doing over here? Oscar? One of those skittish Pokemon? Yeah, I just caught one. Smoke bombs and stealth sprays are your friends. Okay. 
Well, good to know. Let's just go a little schnoozle, just a little while. And there we go. Cool. Let's see here. All right, Ralts. All right. Hey, Adam, you ready for this epic evolution? I don't know why, but they really just cranked up the evolution animation in this game. And it's kind of terrifying, and I love it so much. <laughs> Yay! Grulia! Back to the field! <gasps> Sfeel! I want it. Go get it. Mine. I want it. Sweet! And now time to battle. Cool. Um... What is that? What are these red things? A pop pod? an artillery drop these or something? Huh. Alright, neat. I'm st <laughs> Okay. Oh, it got fixed. Oh, God. It, it's just going two frames a minute. Up and down. That's all it had to go. <laughs> hey, so, hey, Machoke. Don't even mind me in the slightest. I am just here to battle your children. Do a little boop. Boop. And then you stay. Yeah, he's not even struggling. Sweet. Okay. How you doing, dude? We're just gonna wipe out the entire Machop population real quick. And that's totally not gonna be a problem. Definitely not going to be an issue with the local environment. It's not like anyone needs um, needs these guys. That's not how the environment works. Right. Hey, buddy. Are you ready to die? I sure hope you are, because this is your final day. I mean, no, we're just knocking them out. They're just fainting, of course. <laughs> Definitely no ethical issues with what we're doing here. Everything... Totally fine. Ooh, that that's bad, but it's okay because we just go a little and then suck the life out. Like a succubus would. Not that I would know. It's not like I'm a succubus or anything. But, I mean... No. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> hey! What's up, dingus? I'm gonna suck your life away. Hey, how about you don't do that? It's a little rude, a little insensitive. It's not nice to hit people. It's a lot nicer to smooch people. Hence, a smooch. See, isn't that so much nicer, Machop? I, I know you understand. Just think about it while you're in your coma. Okay? Okay. I'm glad, I'm glad we were able to work this out.